Good evening, parents, carers, and future Central Academy students. It's my pleasure to welcome you to our virtual induction evening today at Central Academy. A bit different because obviously we haven't seen you face to face, but I hope you enjoy your evening and get the information that you need uh, to make sure that your child's prepared for September. That's fantastic. My name is Mrs. Miles. I am the transition coordinator here at Central, and this is my job to make sure that your child is prepared and settled and settles in well at Central Academy. I hope you enjoy our evening and if there's any questions, please contact us through email. I'd like now to introduce you to Mr. Bailey, our executive head teacher. Good afternoon, parents, carers, and most importantly, uh, year six students, soon to be year seven students. I'm Mr. Bailey, I'm the executive head teacher of Currently Bow City and Central Academies. It's an absolute pleasure. I'm excited to have the opportunity to do my very first year six induction meeting virtually. I can't wait to see you all face to face and that's not going to be too long from now. And I hope some of the students that did come in and see some of our staff today had a fabulous day. OK, so a few things that I need to go through just to make you aware of. Firstly, I just want to talk a little bit about myself as the executive head teacher of the academies, my values and beliefs, which I live by day in, day out, inside of school and outside of school. The reason I chose to be in education and the reason I chose to work originally a couple of years ago as a head teacher of Central Academy is to make a difference and change the lives of the students whom I serve. I think for me that is the main reason I went into this, into this career. Things that weren't always easy for me when I was at school and at times I felt I could have done far better with a little bit more support, a little bit more care, a little bit more nurturing from some of the staff that were in my school. As an individual, I have extremely high expectations of staff, of students, of myself. Along with those high expectations, we have high challenges, but of course, to achieve those, we always give high support. If people are trying their best, we're happy to support, we're going to push, we're going to push and let them get to where they can to reach their full potential. We're creating a culture of high aspirations here at Central Academy. I am somebody who's extremely honest and when I first joined the school a couple of years ago, things weren't how I wanted them to be and we've still got some work to do. Some of our students weren't reaching their potential. Some of our students didn't have the aspirations that I could see in them with a little bit of time, effort and hard work where they could be, where they could reach and how successful they could be, not only in secondary school, college and university, but more importantly, in life. We're a school. There are lots of things that go on here that are extremely important. Caring, nurturing, some of the things that I've explained. But for me, the most important thing that happen in schools happen in classrooms. Quality first, teaching and learning is something that I'm always aiming for. It's something that the staff in the school are always aiming for. And ultimately, that's where we'll get to. Making sure our students go into every single lesson and can make the progress I think they need and should be expecting. Along with that, there needs to be disciplined learning. And that's something that we're establishing, we're embedding. By that, I think a 60 minute lesson actually should be 60 minutes of learning, not turn up three or four minutes late, not pack up two or three minutes early. Every single second counts in education. The full 60 minutes of disciplined learning, making sure we get the very best. Rest assured, as executive head teacher, any decision that's made by myself or along with the senior leadership team always has a single ethos. Think about the students first in everything we do. What any decision that I make is always based around students. 
Sometimes that can be difficult for some staff members to take or for myself or a certain year group. But I can always sleep easily thinking I've done the best for the students whom I'm serving. Inclusion, a massive word, a key word. Um, yes, we do want to include everyone and everyone gets similar uh, and, and the same access to the curriculum we offer, but we have to treat students as individuals. Not everybody's the same. We have some students that come in that are absolutely top of the game in sports or performing arts or in physics and maths, and we have to serve their needs. We have students that come to us and maybe a little bit behind with, with their literacy skills or some of their numeracy. We work with those students and it's a different approach. The same ethos is for all. Make sure students are treated as individuals and we always try and get everyone, including staff, to reach their potential. You'll know Central Academy is part of Core Education Trust. The core is what our academy values stand for. And you will see this when you walk throughout our school. You'll see it lived out in lesson, in social time, before school and after school. Those values are collaboration, opportunity, respect and excellence. Like I said, this is entwined in our regular day. Students will be rewarded for showing these one of our values plus other things. Uh, sanctions are uh, if we're not doing these things, if we're not respecting one another, if we are not collaborating fully or how we could. This is something that your sons, daughters will be used to, will understand, will know exactly what they mean and how to show it in everyday school life. I'm aware we've got parents that originally walked around uh, the City Academy building on Langley Walk. We've got parents listening that walked around where we are now, Central Academy on Newhall Street. And at the time, may not have known the future of our schools. I just want to talk a little bit about Central and City Academies and the background. Firstly, I'll start with City Academy, the Langley Walk site. Just over 500 students, accommodation that for teaching and learning purposes it is inadequate and sports facilities that are, are, are lacking. Here at Central Academy on Newhall Street, it's exactly the same. Both of these buildings weren't designed to be a school. There was office blocks. Neither have sports facilities on site. Neither let any of our students reach their full potential. And actually what I think our students deserve so what does the future look like? OK, you'll be aware that the two schools are going to merge. The students will come together and we will be developing and building a brand new site where current City Academy School is, the Langley Walk site, to accommodate all of those students. For that to happen, we have to go through a couple of years of transition. You'll be aware next year, your seven and eight students will be based on the Langley Walk site. They will be the only students there. Years 9, 10 and 11 will be based here at Central Academy on Newhall Street. What I've got on the screen at the moment is just giving you an idea of what the school will look like for September 2022. A refurb of the current building, an extension to the current building and across the road, from where City Academy on Langley Walk currently is, is, is a brand new sports facility, a state-of-the-art sports centre with a grass roof, so sport can take place on the top, and fields next door where not only physical education lessons can take place, but sports matches after school. This is going to take place in three stages. The first one of these stages starts in October, 2020, the beginning of the next school term. Phase one, redevelop the site. Now, if I was a parent of a year seven or eight student, I'd be thinking, hold on, that's where my son or daughter's going to be. Please rest assured that building is ample big enough to be able to house two cohorts of students, your sevens and eights, and make sure any other part of the area is blocked off and safe for work to take place, starting on the lower ground where we'll be building a brand new state-of-the-art 
dining hall, canteen, plus it will serve other purposes, rooms for extracurricular or people where they can go and lunch and break times to be quiet or take place in some activities. Phase two is the new build, the extension. That will, take once phase, that will start once phase one has been completed. And then you'll see in blue, phase three, the sports centre across the road. Um, you'll see that there will have a, a bridge going from uh, the original school over to the sports centre. So there's no need for any, any crossing of roads during the day, during lesson times or after school. What does that mean? Well, I'm incredibly excited and all of you should be as well. We will have one super city school as part of the Commonwealth Games legacy in the heart of Birmingham. Uh, I'd be proud of the school, even if I wasn't from Birmingham originally, but I am. I can't wait to get into a school that actually gives our students an opportunity that they deserve. State-of-the-art classrooms that are built for teaching and learning. A, a brand new sports hall. We have some incredible athletes that come through the school and unfortunately they don't always get to perform. Definitely not on site. The investment is, is near on 20 million pounds and that is, is well, it's, it's necessary to deliver what we call a core education. The consistency of staffing will be improved. Delivering lessons in a building that's fit for purpose is what all teachers want. The outcome of that is your children having the same teachers year in, year out, constantly working on becoming better in their profession, delivering lessons that are constantly outstanding, day in, day out, lesson in, lesson out, which always leads to the best possible outcomes. The advantage of putting the two schools together, as a head teacher of a school that had 600 students in, it's difficult to give the curriculum, a broad curriculum, where students have the choice that I think they should have. I have my own children and they've gone through school and had very narrow choices because of the size of the school. Doubling the size means we have a greater offer for our students. We can have subject specialists in each area. We can make sure that we're not a school that wants to narrow the curriculum, that students get an opportunity to pick subjects that they're passionate about, that they want to go on and do later on in life. Joining and having more students in school also means that we can offer students a curriculum that doesn't necessarily fall part of what the national curriculum sets out. I think we should be delivering a curriculum that is right for the context of our students, right for the people who live in the heart of our city. It may not be a curriculum that you'd want if you lived in Wales or in Scotland or out in the countryside. There are certain things that are slightly different about being in the inner city. Not only can we take advantage from the huge amount of commerce and, uh, and businesses around us, we can make sure that we educate our students so some of the things that are a little more sinister, the dangers of living in a, in a, in a city. The result is a 100% improvement potential. It's what our students deserve. I, I'm excited about a new build. I'm happy there's going to be a new build. But to be totally honest, it's only what the students deserve. People have this up and down the country. More recently, some of our students have been at a disadvantage, something I'm not happy about. What does it mean as a parent? Some of you think, OK, we signed up for my student to go to Central Academy on Newhall Street in Year 7, and now they're going to be educated at a different building. Please don't worry, we make sure we'll have transport to get your son or daughter to that school, to avoid them having to travel across the city on their own. Some parents do a lot of dropping off and that's still absolutely fine. You can drop your, your children off at the school, but just for those who are a little bit worried, I just wanted to make sure that was covered. There will be a different start time for the two schools. So if you're a parent who thinks, okay, I want to drop off my children. One's in year seven, one's in year nine, different sites. There will be a different, there'll be a later start on the new hall site. So you can still do that. School uniform is taken care of and you'll have information about that and that's shared and there'll be lots to do with that. And we'll be using some interim sports facilities. I'm not happy that we don't have 
a sports hall that those that are more um, have the potential to for basketball or netball or want to be indoors or where we have to cancel lessons in the past because the weather's terrible. We'll make sure we can get off site and get to a sports facilities, a sports hall nearby. So all of those things can happen again as they should. OK, so what do our students think? Good evening, I am Science, and this is my pleasure to welcome you to City and Central Academy. It is very different, as I love to speak to you face to face, I'm currently a year 10 student under the leadership of Mr Bailey. We have the right components to become the best school and core education trust. Firstly, Central Academy has helped me develop life skills and strong bonds with friends and teachers. This school specialises from a huge amount of subjects ranging from drama to modern foreign languages. If you are interested in performing arts, you will have the opportunity to undertake drama and music, which will allow you to bring our creative side. During science lessons, we do experiments to see things come to life. Learn about famous Shakespearean plays, Macbeth, Romeo and Juliet, which includes amazing role play. For the last few years here at Central Academy, we have taken part in the Rudolf Walker Interschool Drama Awards down in London. This has gave us an opportunity to work with actors and actresses from the Birmingham area to show their experience with us. Our previous times in this competition have led us to win Best Actor and Best Script. In, in the 2019 competition, I was fortunate enough to be presented with the Best Actor Award for my performance. This is something that I will always remember and I was lucky enough to have friends and families and teachers supporting me on the night. Students have roles such as student council. When reaching year 11, you will have the opportunity to run for prefects and head boy and head girl, which I'm proudly running for. This enables students to gain confidence and feel like true leaders. In conclusion, the Centre Academy will give your child the best education it needs. It has made me develop unique qualities and, has, and it has been a pleasure to be a part of it. I wish you all the best and if you choose Central Academy, you will not be disappointed. Thank you for listening and enjoy the rest of the evening. Hello, my name is Anais Tamban here at Central Academy, I'm Head Girl. Being Head Girl has been a wonderful opportunity. Being Head Girl, I've had to represent myself as a role model and someone younger students can look up to and inspire to be like. In Year 7, you're given the opportunity to go on a residential, a chance to bond with staff and students in your year group. In Year 8 and Year 9, you go on subject-based trips, giving you a better understanding before choosing your options. In Year 10, you go on career-based trips such as visits to colleges and sixth forms, giving you a better insight in your career choices. In year 11, we have days where external companies come and give us advice and motivational speech regarding GCSE. My highlights here at Central Academy. I remember being a shy young girl in year seven. Although I was frightened, I remember how welcoming the staff were here at Central Academy to me. I remember how supportive my form tutor was. Another highlight I share here at Central Academy is being part of the Rudolf Walker competition a forever lasting memory. I remember how supportive the school was of me. Being head girl has been an incredible journey. Being head girl I've had experience of speaking to governors and being the student voice for students here at Central Academy. Never would I thought I would have been head girl, but I never gave up. I always did my best in all. I know you may be thinking like me too, but you too could be head girl, head boy by being the best version of you and trying your hardest in all that you do. I wish you nothing but your best in your journey here at Central Academy and look forward to your future. Remember, continue being the best version of you. Okay, so before I move on, it's um, I've seen both of those students, and hey, Sue's, who's left us now and what a fabulous job she did as head girl. I'm extremely 
you know, proud of what she's done, the way she's performed and where she's gone for over the years that she's been at the school. Uh, and Lawrence, who we saw, first of all, Lawrence, um, who you saw win his drama award, who's developed in a way that um, is absolutely amazing. In fact, it's emotional to think when I started the school uh, and saw Lawrence and, and what he did, and what we've been able to do over those years is just unlock the potential and just let him go, let him fly. Lawrence is somebody who I'm sure we'll see in the future, in movies or in on the stage or doing something of that nature. Uh, even if he doesn't, where he's got to now and what he's done. I'm an extremely proud head teacher. So well done to both of those students. OK, so what can a parent carer expect from Central Academy? regular contact now i'm somewhat of a dinosaur and as we're doing this online and this virtual meeting that's where things are we have regular twitter updates daily several tweets going out a day for the different year group uh websites and instagram that you become used to and we're currently developing our website right now and hopefully it's ready for september so you can get the benefit and, and, and interact with that new site Opportunity to engage with the school. Um, something that I'll be starting in September, so please uh, join us. Is a parent forum every half term. Um, one, to give an update for things that you may not have known about the build, about where we're going, about curriculum, where we're changing, but two, sometimes to answer some questions. Celebrating the success of our students. Uh, it's something that is, is, is a passion of mine. Um, that can be in the classroom, that can be in a particular lesson. But as, as you've seen there, for me, and what I'm trying to develop is what goes on outside of the classroom, what goes on in the performing arts, in the sports field, in the debate club. Those are some of the memories that you know, you'll hold forever. I still remember going away on trips, although I'm a maths teacher. I can't say I remember every single maths lesson and how great that was. For me, great lessons should just be a, a, a feature of any school. What we're working on now is how we can make outside of lesson time much more enjoyable for our students. Support and guidance when needed. As a year uh, a seven student, you will have contact with one member of staff much more than any other. And you can go and see what's going on and talk to those. There's a host of other pastoral staff that at our school uh, is the very best I've seen in any school that I've been in. Uh, they know individual students inside and out. They recognise if they're not quite themselves, not as chirpy, sad, happy. Um, something that I, 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 I think that particular team is, is doing a, a, a fabulous job. So please do not worry about the caring and the nurturing of your children at our school. Um, high expectations from all staff and all students. I, you know, joined the school and wherever I've been, I've always got high expectations. I always want our students to do the very best. Perhaps I'm a little bit biased. I know where we are in the heart of city, somewhere where I've grown up. And I'm passionate about these young students who live in, in Birmingham to do the best they can. Um, main reason why I joined education was because I didn't get that support from my school or what I thought I should have got. What we're doing here is making them realise what do I want to be, dream it, believe it and then go on and achieve it and we're here to facilitate that, that journey. Um, respond quickly to any issues. I talked about how strong our pastoral team is. Uh, as soon as they find out an issue, if they hear about it, they run it straight away. Um, and a commitment to excellence, our fourth value. I said earlier, I'm a very honest person. I'm not saying right now that everything happens in our school is the best it can be. We are going from stage to stage. We started working, like I said, on the teaching and learning inside of the classrooms and things going outside. We don't have the amount of facilities that we should have. We don't have our teams winning all the trophies going offside. 
These are all things that we're developing and will happen. I have to start with what happens in the classroom first and foremost, what happens with, with, what, with the, the lessons, how we can improve results. So people can go on to the colleges and universities that need to. That is starting to be embedded and now I'm moving on to the things outside of the classroom. I'm a very competitive person. And sometimes when I started this job a couple of years ago and I told the staff and the students at some time in the not too distant future, Central Academy will be one of the best schools, not only in Birmingham or the West Midlands, but in, in the country. Uh, we might not get the best results compared to a, a grammar school or a private school, but in terms of progress, we will be right up there. We'll be able to compete. We'll make sure that not only our students are doing well academically, but they leave here being happy, enjoying school, um, you know, going on and thinking school was a, an enjoyable time and they enjoyed their time at Central Academy. And, 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 and that's what I'm aiming to do. OK, uh, you, you can probably already tell in that first meeting, I'm someone who can rabbit a little bit. Now I'm going to hand over to Miss Slater, head teacher, it's been a pleasure talking to you um, and I will have an opportunity to just summarise at the end. Enjoy the evening. Thank you very much for joining us, Miss Slater. Thank you, Mr Bailey. Um, it's been a real privilege to be able to speak to a number of parents and carers and the students over the last few weeks. Obviously, we're in different times at the moment, but what we want to make sure is that you're getting that information, you're getting that opportunity to meet the staff that your, your children will be working with from September. Um, if you still would like a call, so we've been phoning students, the senior team have been speaking to parents, and making sure that any questions you've got have been answered over the phone. If you've still got questions at the end of this, the staff after me will talk a little bit about how you can ask those questions. Um, but also, if you would like a call from one of the senior team, then please let us know. I wanted to go back to a little bit of what Anna and A said. She referred to the strength of the teaching team, the, the strength of the staff at the school, knowing and understanding students and caring about them. That really matters to myself. And Mr Bailey, because we need staff to understand the students. We need staff to be able to push students and make sure that they achieve their potential, but making sure that they are happy and successful along the way. And so tonight you'll meet a few of the staff, the key, the core team. What has enabled us through the merger to bring together a really strong team that will be dedicated to the year seven cohort. That's important because they will be on a site just year sevens, just year eight, and particularly with the disruption over the last few months in primary school, I think that will be a far more settled start for them. So this, the team that you're going to meet, year sevens, they had a head of year. You will have already met the transition coordinator, Mrs Miles. You will also meet Miss Holness, who is also part of that transition team. And so that strength within that team is boosted then by the form tutors that spend a large part of the teaching time with your children. And so I'm going to hand straight over to Miss Minto, head of year seven, who will go through in more detail what to expect in September. Thank you. Thank you, Miss Slater. Good evening, everybody. It's fantastic that you've been able to join us virtually this evening. My name is Miss Minto and I will be head of year seven in September. I'm really excited to welcome you here tonight and in September for us to begin our journey together as your children join our school. OK, so as Mr Bailey spoke about regular contact being something that is vital at Central Academy. Parents are a huge part of this and you will be a major part of your student success. There are different ways in which we do this here at Central and the methods are doing year seven welcome or settling in evenings. We have formal parents evenings. We make regular phone calls to parents and carers. Text messages are also sent out on a regular basis. Praise postcards from different subjects are sent out. There are letters that go out from the head teacher and we also have a school Twitter page and a school website. OK, moving on to attendance now. Central Academy has a good attendance record and requires your support in order to maintain this. As you can see on the right hand side of the board, our school starts at 8.30. 
I would recommend that students arrive at 8.20 just to avoid receiving a late mark and to ensure that they are in school and ready to learn on time. You can also see that there are five one hour lessons throughout the school day. There is a 15 minute break in the morning and a half an hour lunch break in the afternoon. The school day then ends at 3 p.m. There are times when students do arrive late to school and in this instance, students would receive a late mark and they would receive a one hour detention that would take place on the same day. However, we are aware that there are times where some things are unavoidable. This could be a medical appointment, for example. In this case, we would just ask that you provide us with 24 hours notice by a written note or a phone call. OK, I'm going to talk to you briefly about our curriculum. Year seven students will study a range of subjects, which will include literacy for life, which is something I'm going to elaborate on just slightly in case you haven't heard of it before. So Literacy for Life is a programme that has been developed here at Central Academy in order to allow students within year seven and year eight to work on their literacy skills that will help them throughout their school career. They also have an opportunity to develop their personal understandings about themselves and also focus on humanities subjects such as RE, geography and history. Additional to this, students will have specialist teaching in the arts, design technology, foreign languages, physical education, and the core subjects, English, maths, and science. Students will also have an opportunity to take part in extracurricular activities. This is where Mr. Bailey was talking about students being involved in drama, in um, physical activities such as football or basketball and taking part in competitions outside of school. OK, uniform. Every day, each student should arrive at school in the correct Central Academy uniform. This includes having a blue blazer with a school badge. And just to make you aware, there is going to be a slight change to the school badge in September. A grey skirt for girls or tailored trousers or grey trousers for boys, alongside with a, long, a light blue blouse or shirt, the Central Academy school tie, black leather shoes, and for girls again, black tights or plain white socks, and for boys, black socks. All of the uniform can be purchased from True Tech school wear. And additional to this, students will also have to have the PE kit that is also available to purchase from True Tech School Wear. OK, here at Central Academy, equipment is very important. It is part of their school uniform. So it is crucial that all students have the basic items of equipment in every lesson. This includes a pen, a pencil, a ruler, a rubber and a sharpener. If possible, students should also bring a red pen with them to school. I'm going to talk to you a little bit about mobile phones and the policy that we have on other electrical equipment. We have a zero tolerance to mobile phones being used within the school day. Students are allowed to bring their phone with them to school. However, it must be switched off and kept within their blazer pocket or in their bag. If a student is seen on their phone during the school day, this may be in lesson or out in the playground during lunchtime or break time, this will be confiscated from them. It will be returned to them at the end of the day and parents will be informed. OK, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about sanctions. Now, I'm not too concerned about this. We should have no problems with this in year seven. But just so that you are, are aware, the system that we follow is a verbal warning is given in the instance that a child is potentially disrupting a lesson. If this behaviour does not improve, a yellow warning would then be given and we would follow our behaviour policy and parents would be informed of this. The way in which we do this is we use a system here at Central, which is called Class Charts. This is an online app which can be downloaded by yourself on a mobile or electronic device. Or both parents and student accounts will be set up in September and this will just allow you as the parent or carer to keep track and monitor your child's behaviour at school. So moving on to rewards, this is my favourite part. The way in which we give out rewards here at Central, we give out verbal praise, head teachers awards are given, 
lots of positive phone calls home are made by different teachers and different members of staff within the school. We hold rewards assemblies each week. We have stars of the week. We have prize afternoons. We have rewards trip, which focuses mainly on attendance and punctuality. And as I've mentioned already, clash charts points. So as well as sanctions being uploaded onto clash charts, rewards are also there for you to see. OK, again, on clash charts, you will be able to see which homework has been distributed to students and you will be able to keep track and monitor which pieces of homework have been completed at home. This is a great tool to enable parents that opportunity to see, have a little bit more information on that piece of homework and also the due date to ensure that students do not receive sanctions for lack of homework. We are now going to hear from one of our year seven students. Good evening. My name is Dupreya and I'm delighted to welcome you to Central Academy. I am currently in Year 7 and a part of the Primary Transition Team. Being a part of the Transition Team has given me the chance to make many videos just like this one for your children to give them some more information about our school. Of course coming to a new secondary school will be an overwhelming experience but I'm sure your children will like it here. Central Academy has given me the opportunity to make many relationships with other students and teachers. Secondary school is so much more than a curricular subject. There's also opportunities to develop social skills and learning outside the classroom. There are a range of extracurricular activities and trips to enhance personal progress. Over my time at Central Academy, I've enjoyed the programme Alpha Hour, especially the topic Planets. At Central, we have hardworking, dedicated teachers who will work their hardest to support and help you in reaching your goals. Central Academy provides your children with an amazing education. It develops unique skills and is an amazing place to be. I wish the best for you and your child's future at Central Academy and hope to see some of you soon. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video about life at school from one of our Year 7 students. Finally, we hope that all students will be proud to belong to Central Academy and find real success here. I'm now going to hand you over to the transition lead, Miss Holness. Good evening, everyone. I am Miss Holness and I am a part of the Central 2020 Transitions team. Some of you may recognise me from my close work with the local primary schools. Part of my role is to support and guide your child within their transition into Central Academy, and I will be teaching them L for L in September. I will ensure that your child is happy, safe and enjoying their time here. We would really value your feedback. At the end of this presentation, we would like you to complete the electronic questionnaire, which can be located on the Academy website. Also, if you have any questions, please email us at primarytransition at corecentral.academy. We would like to thank you for your time and I would, like, and I would now like to pass you back on to Mr Bailey. Thank you. OK, um, don't worry, not as long this time. Uh, I just want to say a couple of things. So just to finish off, firstly, thank you all for joining us in this virtual uh, meeting. It's, uh, it's new to me to deliver it in this way. I've been in lots of virtual meetings in, with three or four people, not to deliver to all the parents of, of our brand new cohort. So. I wanted to thank you all for joining. I wanted to thank all the staff that have been involved, uh, not only in front of the um, camera today, but also behind the camera, all the effort they've put in. So a public uh, a thank you to all of those guys. And then just finished off with a couple of things that I, I remember saying when I first joined. Um, I'm a parent of three children myself. So there's, there's I understand the process and some of the, the things that 
as parents, we think. The first thing I wanted to, to share with you all, um, you know, I started at Central Academy with a, a job to do of making us, like I said, one of the four front schools in the city, in the county, and that hasn't finished yet, and I'm determined to do that. I have no plans of moving on or going elsewhere. I'm determined to make sure I finish the job uh, and then continue to, to, to keep pushing for, for excellence. Um, prior to me starting, there were several head teachers in a short amount of time, in, 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 you know, and when I said to that year seven parents then, I will be here when your students finish. Some of them thought, no, you'll be gone soon or didn't believe me. Two years down the line, they're starting to believe and know that somebody that uh, is honest about where I'm going and what I'm doing. I'm determined to make sure your students, your sons and daughters finish Central Academy in one of the top performing schools in the county, uh, in a school that is leading the way in, in all aspects inside of the classroom and outside of the classroom. I also wanted to assure every single parent or carer out there that I have a, uh, it's a very simple guide to where we need to improve and where I'm happy. If I walk into a classroom or if I walk into the canteen or if I walk into the playground, it's, it's, it's a simple barometer. If it's not good enough for my own children, it's not good enough for my children in Central Academy. Really simple. If a member of staff is not performing in a way that I would want my own children to be in that classroom, something has to be done. We help, improve, we train, we develop, we do everything we can. But I won't accept um, mediocrity. We need to push and push and push to give our students the best possible chances. Um, along the way, I understand, I, you know, I laugh and a joke and I need to, we need to have fun. But at the end of the, you know, at the end of this journey, it's a passport, those results are a passport to college and to university. And I need to make sure that we stamp that passport. I'm going to finish off with uh, a word that was said by our current head boy, uh, Ezekiel. Uh, and he was talking to people visiting the school. And, and like I said, I've only been here for a couple of years. And what he said, um, I, I thought, wow, I'm definitely heading in the right way. So I'll share. He said, Mr. Bailey, uh, before you got here, myself, and Anais was with him, who you saw earlier, you know, we was year eight, nine students worried about where the school was going. We was concerned if we were going to get the results uh, we needed. We was concerned that we'd had several head teachers who all told us we're going to stay and then for one reason or another didn't stay and left. So he said when you started sir perhaps we needed a little bit of convincing and we needed convincing to see that you was doing it for the students and for all the right reasons. He said now I've come to the end of my journey at Central Academy. He said um When he said to me, sir, when you're driving home from an airport or you visited your family in London and you're driving down the, the, the motorway and as soon as you get over onto sort of spaghetti junction there on that, on, that, on that road, he says, you get this warm feeling inside that you are nearly home. He said, Mr. Bailey, what you've done to our school is give me that warm feeling that our school, I'm back at home. It's where I wanted it to be. I feel safe, secure. And he said, and we're getting what we need to get in the classrooms. Uh, that young man is, is somebody who worked incredibly hard and he's gonna off and do great stuff. But when he said that to me, I thought, I don't need Ofsted to come in, or I don't need teachers from other schools coming in to say that, or I don't need any other visitors external. When our students are talking about our school in a positive way like that, I know we're definitely heading in the right journey and in the right direction. Um, thank you for joining us. Uh, unfortunately, we couldn't meet face to face today. I can't wait until we do. Um, I will see you in September. And always remember, school is the triangulation of our students, our staff and our parents. And sometimes we forget just how important our parents are uh, for communication purposes, to help tell us how to improve, what things we could tweak to make better. So like I said, our first parent forum will be happening in that first half term. 
albeit with the current lockdown procedures and the social distancing, if at all possible, we will put that on. So I hear the views of our, of our parents. Have a fantastic evening. Have a safe uh, time if I don't see you until September. Look after yourselves, look after your family. Uh, students, make sure you do what parents, carers are asking you to do. Work hard and I'm really looking forward to seeing you in September. I hope you're looking forward to be here and we'll start that next journey in your uh, education. Thank you very much. Good night uh, and goodbye.